Hello everyone, I'm back with another pedal modification. This time I've got another Boss MT2 Metal Zone. As you can see I've already started dismantling it. Uh, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to start with the diesel mod. And I'm going to make a couple of minor tweaks for my own personal taste. So um, you can click right here and it will take you to a video of Colin from CS Guitars performing the diesel mod on, on his MT2 Metal Zone. So if you want to know about the uh, component values and, and component changes and stuff like that, it's all there. That's what I'm going to start from. The only two changes that I'm going to make are as follows. Number one, I've decided that I don't much care for LED clipping. And that's what D4 and D5 are for. So, um, well, D4 and D5 are for the clipping. Um, the modification takes an LED and puts it in there and blah, blah, blah. So, um, I'm not going to be using an LED for D4 or D5. The plan is to get some germanium diodes such as 1N34, 1N60, that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to put those in D4 and D5 in an asymmetrical fashion. So, uh, let's say, I haven't actually decided on this yet, but I will let you know. Um, but D4 will be something like 1N34 one, one diode, and then D5 will probably be two 1N60 diodes in series or something like that. Um, as the video goes on, I'll explain exactly what I did when the mod is finished. And number two, there's a resistor, R41. The stock value is uh, one kilo ohm. Um, and I've read that increasing the value of R41 will decrease the amount of distortion you have. So rather than increase the value of R41, I'm going to try decreasing the value of R41 just to see how crazy the distortion can get. Um, and my thinking behind that is that I'm a huge fan of bands like Crowbar and, and you know, bands that really push the distortion a lot. So um, I'm going to decrease R41. I haven't decided on an exact value yet. It may be down to 470 ohms, maybe 560, that area, and uh, we'll see how that sounds. And as usual, I will be replacing the indicator LED with a super bright. So anyway, that's the plan. I'm going to get started and uh, we'll take it from there. Alright guys, so here's the modification done. Now as you can see, or as you can't because I can't get the camera in the right place. Here we go. Okay. So this guy here is C34. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So C34 is now a 47 nanofarad capacitor just like the diesel mod specs. C36 right here is 100 nanofarad as per diesel mod specs. The, uh, let's see, this is really, I'm, I apologize for this. So, uh, if we can see right there, C35 is now gone, as is C25 per the specs. So, what did I change? Well, for my own personal mod, I've changed this R41 here, right there. The stock value was a 1K, so I've dropped that down to 680 ohms to see if that'll increase the distortion available. And right here, you can see I've changed the clipping diodes. So rather than an LED and a 1N4001, I've decided to go uh, right here. This is a 1N270. It's a ger germanium diode. And this is two 1N60P germanium diodes in series. So that now I've got asymmetrical clipping going on here. So I'm going to be uh, 
interested to see what that sounds like now. And as per usual, the indicator has been changed out. I think this time it's a it's a green LED. So those are my modifications. So I'm gonna slap this back together and we'll see what it sounds like. Hopefully it'll be cool. Stay tuned. So that's the modification done. Um, I'm interested to know what you guys think of it, even though um, I'm not really that good at capturing the sound, but I did the best I could. Um, for what it's worth, I really like it. Um, like I said, I'm a big fan of Crowbar and, and bands that use a lot of distortion and uh, seems to be a Randall thing, but um, anyway, I felt that the uh, clipping was a lot smoother than it would be with an LED. Um, LEDs tend to give you more volume, but uh, less compression, and um, it sounds more fuzzy than distortion to me. But with the, uh, the asymmetrical clipping and the germanium diodes, I thought really smoothed out the distortion, and um, I really liken the sound of that. Um, and as for the, uh, just got a text. Anyway, as for the uh, the R41 mod, um, I only reduced it to 680 ohms, and uh, the amount of distortion available now is ridiculous. Um, I don't know if you can tell really from the video, but there is a considerable amount of noise now, especially like when you crank up the distortion passed halfway there's quite a bit of noise now so 
Um, even though I like the sound, um, it would probably benefit from having a noise gate. So there's that, but I can deal with that. Anyway, um, like I said, I enjoy this modification the way I've done it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm interested to know what you guys thought of it. So thanks for watching and take it easy, guys. See you later.